I love how music can do that. What? Pull you back to some moment in time. The music was actually pretty good. And I do love the concept of music bringing back memories and taking you back to a time. I mean, the music evoking different emotions. Okay, that's all good. That is what I signed up for. But this movie sort of fell flat. It fumbled, okay? This movie totally fumbled. It's called The Greatest Hits. It's about a girl. She loses her boyfriend in a car accident. And now, every time she hears a song that her and her boyfriend had listened to in the past, she's able to time travel back to that time. And that's it. <laughs> no, that's not it. She's trying to save her boyfriend, okay? She's trying to go back in time. She's trying to use music to go back in time to somehow save her boyfriend, like prevent the accident from ever happening. The moment I saw this, I was like, is this gonna be like some grandfather paradox issue? I mean, there's gonna be consequences, right? If you go back and you change stuff in the past, the future is gonna be different, right? Unless we're talking different timelines. That was never mentioned. This whole time, I thought the whole revelation was just gonna be like she was just going crazy like all of this time travel stuff was in her head she wasn't actually time traveling this was just the way her mind is coping with the trauma of losing her boyfriend but nope that wasn't the case and i honestly think this movie would have been better if that was the case this movie taught me that it's better to never live than live and then die the end was very frustrating i kept giving it chances so in this movie she also in present day meets this other dude this asian dude their relationship sort of blossoms they're pretty cute together. She's being held back because she's still desperately searching for that song that'll bring her boyfriend back. They kept trying to throw in the past, the dead boyfriend, and then showing moments of them. But every time she traveled back and I saw the old boyfriend, anytime she asked him to do something because she's like, oh my God, I can see the future. Like she's trying to convince him not to do something so the car accident wouldn't happen. He just didn't listen to her. So I'm just like, what? Why would you do that? He was so resistant to everything she tried to tell him to do. Just stop the car accident. You just let me drive. Eventually she does find the song. Okay, and it's a very strange, strangely coincidental that the song is actually played at this furniture shop that the Asian dude actually owns. The day of the car accident, she actually went to the shop with her boyfriend and they were buying a chair in the shop and the song was actually the song they were playing at the shop. And so she finds it and then she tries to travel back in time. Asian dude's like, oh my God, can't you just let this go? And she's like, can I just prove to you that this is actually real, that I am actually time traveling? So yeah, she goes back and she leaves a note in a desk at the shop and then in present day asian guy finds the note and she's like yeah i even met your dead parents i don't know none of this matters okay she realized that oh my god i can go back in time to that point where i first met my dead boyfriend and prevent this all from even happening prevent our relationship from ever being a thing and then he would be alive today so yeah she does that it was a slap in the face, okay? I was like, really? That's the solution? So the solution to not getting hurt is to just not fall in love with the person that's gonna hurt you. She prevents the relationship from ever happening and then fast forward to the future, which also prevents her and the Asian guy ever really meeting too. And actually before she does this, they have like this conversation about how if we don't remember it, did it really happen? And I'm like, oh my God, that's actually a great concept. I remember some guy saying one time, what if time travel is real? Like it actually happens all the time, but we just cannot retain any of the memories from our travels. So it feels like we've never time traveled, but in reality, maybe it's happened. I don't know why it reminded me of that, but I'm like, oh, that's a really, that's a really interesting concept. But they just, they just put it in one sentence and they kind of just didn't really revisit it until the end where she's back after, after she goes through all of that. Prevents herself from ever meeting the boyfriend so she doesn't even remember him. She doesn't even know him. And in present day, he already has a different girlfriend. They cross paths at a coffee shop and obviously she doesn't feel anything because they were never together. I don't know. It would have made more sense if maybe they were together in some parallel universe because this could be like a separate timeline. It would make more sense and then be like, okay, maybe there's still a little bit of feeling there. But it's like, no, she has no recollection of him. There's no feeling, nothing there. No spark, nothing. But then when she meets the Asian dude, they kind of have like a little spark. I don't know. I don't like movies that kind of contradict themselves like this, especially on like such a, such a core deep concept or like such an interesting concept, but they fumble it. It could have been so much 
much better. It also doesn't really make sense that she was even, she even had the ability to do that. Every other time she's tried to change the past, there wasn't a significant consequence in the future. And also just because she saves him like that, he could have died in some other way. We all die. We can't live every day fearing death. Thought this whole movie was gonna teach me the lesson of moving on. I guess I've been fortunate enough to have never lost a loved one that was very close to me like that. But I thought this movie was gonna be one of those that just teaches you how to move on and learn the lesson of acceptance. But no, I didn't do that. She chose to run away from her problem instead of remembering the good time because the only reason she's sad is because the memory of all the good times keeps wanting to pull her back. And she's like, oh, I lost something I love dearly and I'm desperate to get it back. But instead of learning to accept that, oh, I'm lucky, I'm fortunate enough to have loved this person and to have shared so many good moments with them. But now it's over and I have to move on. Instead of that, she decided to be like, no, I'm just going to erase it from my mind. In this movie, it's not even just erasing it from her memory. She literally just made it so that none of that even existed. Just so she doesn't have to deal with the pain of loss. Isn't that what it is? I feel like that's what it is. It's just so strange. I'm like, how do you know just because you guys aren't together that he wouldn't have died in some other tragic way with another girl? We live every day risking our lives. I mean, every day we drive outside, there's a chance that we could get into an accident. Every day we do anything, there's a chance we could just drop dead. I don't know, I could have an aneurysm while crossing the street. 